So, wow. Wow is really the best way to, to put it. The ending of this episode, that's where I'm going to start here really quick. Because I know that's what a lot of you guys, you know, 95% of you want to know right off the bat. I don't really know what to say. That was fucked up. Like, if I was Hanabi, and like, say I was a guy, and anyone, you know, my best bud, someone, you know, just someone that, that knew, someone, someone knew, like, you know, we're acquaintances, and they knew that I liked that person, you know, they, they knew I loved that person, and they were to walk by to me and say, last night, I had sex with so-and-so, I would probably, yeah, I would have a few choice words, and there may be some physical conduct going down. That's just so crazy. She she literally had like she's fucked up. She literally had the the resolve to say that to her. Like she 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 holds herself so on this pedestal because she, all these guys throw themselves at her, and for her to go and do that to Hanabi, just say it right in front of her, just whisper it like whisper it to her in the hallway. It blows my mind. I, I, I wow, like really. Really? And I mean, the theme of this episode is basically, everyone's, like, they're, they're, they're broken. Mentally, they're broken, you know? Their, their minds have broken. And you see how they're falling to the whole concept of, hey, it's time to fulfill my loneliness. Their sex drive you know, has gone up to do that. I mean, and you see they're even hooking up with other people. She liked it. She did it with Ekchan. Moogie did it with that one girl from the past again. And I'm just kind of like, holy shit. This is really starting to become a shit show. And I'm wondering what's going to happen to, in the end. Because there's two people that understand each other. It's Mugi and Hanabi. So I'm 95% sure Mugi and Hanabi will actually end up together. And now I'm starting to think that Akane and Mr. K Kani will actually uh, end up together. Simply because Mr. Kane shows... She, he, sh he actually shows that like... He, he's, he's not that he like necessarily wants her per se. It's it's because he's a genuine good person and he genuinely treats her with respect. And like these other guys, they kind of seem like they're kind of just like Akane. They're just for a fun time. And I think this may be the first relationship where someone's truly liked her, not just for her looks, but who she is as a person. Whether that's a fake persona or not, he still likes her. And you kind of see Akane is kind of shocked in, in one of the scenes. And. That, that kind of, you know, it's kind of hinting at that, I, I think. I believe so. But Mugi knows, you know, he's known. He's known what's going on with, you know, Akane this whole time. He's like, I'm not an idiot. In the United States, he's like, I'm not an idiot. I know. I mean, ever since he's with that girl from the past, she, she's even showing him, hey, look, she's just hanging out with other dudes. Look, she's just here for a good time. She's not someone you'd ever want to be with and nothing like that. And so that, that kind of shows that he's a piece of shit, too. But at the same time, you see how, like, he doesn't even want to have sex with Hanagi, and he even states, I'm pretty sure, now, I don't know if I just missed it, but he's, I'm pretty sure he said, I love you, didn't he? I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, leaving on the council I can't remember, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I may have missed that, but I'm pretty sure I saw I love you. Actually, I, no, I know I saw I love you, I'm just kidding. But, um, I just wasn't sure what, what way he was using it. And he said, you want to date for real. So, it's, it's, it's clear that now, because we had to put this in perspective, we had to, Ha, you know, Hanabi, she, at one point, like episode three, she said, do you want to try, you know, she said, do you want to try to be something? And then she saw, you know, Mugu's kind of just, he's stuck in the past. He's stuck with, he's, he's hooked on some chick. And now you see Mugi do it. But now Hanabi's, what's called, she's, do, yeah, she's doing her own thing. Something's bothering her. Mugi even stated that. And then, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what's going to happen with Hanabi next next week. I don't even want to know. You know, each week is winter anime. It's like, Masamune no Revenge, I was kind of like, oh shit, I can't wait to see what happens with the whole kiss thing. And then the ending here for Masamune is kind of like, okay, how do they all know each other? It can't be that fat kid in the opening. It doesn't make sense. Now, <laughs> now this. Now this. And I'm just, winter anime 2017 was underrated and I bet you it's going to be underappreciated. I think this is very good stuff that's going on right now. But it's just kind of like, wow. This show's, this show's really fucked up, honestly. It's a good-ass show. I like it. It's realistic. But it, it's dark, man. It, it, it's dark, man. But so I'm really interested to see what, what's going to happen with Moogie. You know, what, just, you know what, what is his move going to be? 
and he even actually tried to abide, you know, by her wishes and actually have sex, sex with her. And it's just kind of like, shit. He has to somewhat care for this girl. Hanabi has to care for Mugi, but they're just so caught up in their emotions and on these people that they shouldn't even really care about. I mean, why should Hanabi care about, you know, Mr. Kanai, you know, Connie? Because what? He was there whenever she needed somebody? You, you don't necessarily just fall for someone, you know, you know that, that, I, I mean, you do sometimes, don't get me wrong, because, you know, you may like them for who they are, they're a person that went out of the way to associate with you, you know, socialize with you whenever you need it in a time of need when no one else would, but it's just kind of like, I mean, yeah, he's there, you know, any decent pe person would have been there, I bet you if you put a, a hundred people there, you'd get at least 20 people that would be concerned. I, I, you know, so I think, it, I think Hanabi's in the sense of, yeah, you fell for a good guy, but there's plenty of people out there that will care for you, and he doesn't really just acknowledge that yet. But very quick before we end this video, so then in the end, we actually, you know, have Mugi state that, I've known this all along, but it's because he's, you know, he's, he sees Akane as fragile, and I do get what he's saying there, I really do understand what he's saying there, he, you know, in the sense of, a lot of times people act a certain way because they've never truly been cared about, and that kind of goes towards what I said earlier, and if you guys made this far in the video, definitely leave down in the comments below what you think about this, and that, you know, goes with what I said earlier about her kind of reacting different with Mr. Mr. Kane. Whenever, whenever he, you know, caught her and said, I'm so glad you're safe, he actually showed genuine, you know, genuine passion, caring for someone besides himself and besides the sex. And that kind of relates to, you know, the whole thing, you know, everything that's going on here. So that kind of relates to this part right now, you know. So, yeah, one, one, one last thing, one last thing before I forget. And that is simply, Ekchen looked like Akane to Hanabi. And she's seeing people that act like Akane was basically what I got from that. So I would not be surprised if Hanabi looks in the mirror and well she sees herself. Because that's exactly who she is. Yeah, she, she, she's not going to be the type of girl that's still walking the hallway and said, Hey, I had sex with Mr. Kane too last night. She ain't going to be that person, you know. But she, is she any better just using her friends? Just using the, the guy that cares about her? I mean, at least Mugi had the de decency of saying, hey, let's not have sex, but then you kept pushing the matter, and he kind of was it because he likes you, it seems as if. Like, I mean, he pretty much states that, you want to do this for real. So, right now, if I had to rank people here, pieces of shits, I mean, it's definitely Miss it's Akane, and then it's Hanabi, but really, I think Hanabi and Akane are neck and neck, man. I mean, why not? You have Ekchen, I think Mugi is, I mean, Mugi's definitely... Not nothing special, but I mean, we're talking about some pretty shitty people here. So I mean, Akane, Hanabi, Ekchen, and I'd, I'd say Mugi. At least M Mugi's showing that he can be a good person, showing that he actually cares. You know, I think he's the cl closest guy, you know, person to Mr. Mr. Connie in this whole show when it comes to that. Like actually having some kind of morals. I mean, yeah, is he is he scum? Yeah, sure, you know, he is. But he, it's there. He's just he just he, I think he's the closest one to breaking you know breaking through. And he's definitely the one that's. He's definitely not as lost as the others. So, he lost himself for a second there with the past girl that he had sex with. But, I mean, other than that, I think he's definitely persevering and starting to get through it very gradually, very slowly. And sorry, I saw an icon for my Counter-Strike pop-up. But, yeah. As always, guys, you've been Hex. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, x 25 And I'd love to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.